Not only harmless and cute fish can swim in rivers, there can be real monsters that make even a great white shark seem not so creepy. From killer catfish and fish with human teeth to real mutants, in this episode I'll show you these and other of the most frightening river creatures caught on camera. Let's go! Payara Even piranhas are frightened by this creature. The saber-toothed barracuda, piara or vampire fish – yes, these are all names for the same creepy fish – if you're ever lucky enough to see one, the first thing that catches your eye will, of course, be the very sharp teeth especially the two long fangs, which stick out very intimidatingly from the lower jaw. The vampire fish, despite its name, does not drink the blood of its victims. It simply swallows them whole, occasionally tearing them into smaller pieces. They are not particularly fastidious in food, so their formidable weapons plunge into a variety of fish, which size is less than that of the piara. Even piranhas can be their food. The piara can grow to 120 centimeters in length, and weigh about 15 to 20 kilograms. By the way, this toothy fish lives in many rivers of the Amazon and Orinoco Basin, and it's found only in South America. Goonch This is a truly frightening individual. Not only its size is frightening, but also the fact that this fish has been implicated in cases of human disappearances. It's not without reason that the goonch is also called the giant devil catfish. Because of unexplained human drownings, the Kali River, which flows in India and Nepal, has become notorious. It's believed that this devil catfish, which lives there, has acquired a strong taste for human flesh. And the reason could be the funerary custom of burning the bodies and throwing them into the river. However, feeding only on the dead may not be enough for it, so the goonch may attack living people and large livestock. Montauk Monster In July 2008, an unknown creature was found on a beach in the Montauk District of New York City. This mystery of nature was called the Montauk Monster. Interestingly, the corpse of the unidentified animal soon disappeared, but all sorts of speculation still remained. To this day, no one can agree on what kind of monster it was and where it went. It had the body of a mammal, creepy flippers, and an incomprehensible predatory snout. Journalists originally claimed it was a mutated turtle without a shell. Some experts said that it was just the body of a raccoon swollen because of the water but without fur. It had either fallen out or been burnt, and some theorists have suggested that it was a mutant that escaped from a nearby government research center. The Bontoc monster is the mystery to both the public and experts. Alligator Gar the alligator gar is a predatory fish that closely resembles an alligator. Its primary habitat is the lower Mississippi River. However, in the Eocene, its ancestors inhabited many bodies of water, which is why the alligator gar looks so archaic. The size of this fish is striking. It reaches 3 meters in length and weighs more than 130 kilograms. Usually it feeds on other fish, but it can even bite a young alligator with its sharp needle-like teeth. Paku. Even though the Paku fish is better known as a vegetarian piranha, its creepiest feature is still its teeth. Of course, these fish do not have sharpened fangs like the piara, but their teeth look just like human ones. Paku use their teeth mainly to crush nuts and fruits that fall from trees in the Amazon River, but sometimes they also eat other fish and invertebrates. So vegetarian is not really about the Paku fish after all. Lamprey Eels These small river monsters live mostly in coastal and fresh waters. The lamprey eel is a very unusual inhabitant of the underwater world. In our usual sense, it doesn't really look like a fish. Externally, it looks more like a snake, a large worm, or an eel about 100 centimeters long, although it belongs to neither of them. Adults have large eyes, one nasal opening on the crown, and seven gill slits near the head on each side. They have no scales or paired fins, but have one or two elongated dorsal fins close to the caudal fin. Their mouths are truly terrifying. Round mouths with aligned rows of sharp, inward-facing teeth are really creepy. Using the suction cup, the lamprey eel pulverizes its food with its teeth. That's a brutal way to kill the prey, isn't it? 
but there are river creatures that deal with their opponents even more brutally. Stay tuned to see them and learn even more about the world's most frightening river creatures. Bull Shark If you thought that swimming in a river and encountering a shark were incompatible, then I hasten to surprise you. An unpleasant encounter with this shark can occur in any of the oceans with the exception of the Arctic Ocean. These carnivorous predators often enter freshwater rivers going high upstream for quite long distances. They can be seen at the mouths of major rivers such as the Ganges, Mississippi, and Zambezi, and even in small rivers in Asia, Africa, Australia, and the Americas. The bull shark is on a par with the great white shark and tiger shark, both of which are noted aggressor killers. The bull shark is considered one of the largest shark species. Females grow up to 3.5 to 4 meters in length, while the length of males is about 2.5 meters. Outwardly, the bull shark is lazy and slow, but that doesn't mean anything. The shark got its name for a reason. It's very unpredictable. It can calmly swim past and a second later violently rush at the unsuspecting victim, like a bull on a red rag. In addition, the shark's muzzle is quite wide, which gives it some resemblance to the bull. By the way, when attacking, the bull shark strikes a strong blow with its muzzle, or rather, snout. The huge mouth with several rows of jagged teeth finishes the job quickly and brutally. The bull shark hunts on fish, dolphins, large invertebrates, small sharks, and even its relatives. It's quite capable of dragging a bull or a cow to the depth. Individuals of this species are often very accused of many bloody crimes against people. Arapaima gigas Arapaima gigas, its other name is Puraruku, meaning red fish. It's red because of its red spots on the tail and because of its meat of a pinkish orange hue. This amazing and very dangerous creature lives in rivers and lakes in South America and is considered one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. Puraruku grow up to 2 meters in length, but some of the individuals of this species can reach a length of 3 meters. And according to some eyewitness accounts, in the nature, you can meet individuals which are up to 4.5 meters in length and even more. Once an individual was caught that weighed almost 200 kilograms. That's not bad for a fish. Interestingly, the scales of this fish are so strong that they're several times stronger than the bone tissue. Therefore, Puraruku has no problems in water bodies together with bloodthirsty piranhas, which, knowing about this advantage, don't even risk to look at Puraruku. Arapaima gigas uses not only oxygen extracted from water, but also atmospheric air oxygen. Once every 5 to 15 minutes, it needs to surface to take a breath. Its breathing pattern is unmistakable. When Piruruku rises to the surface, small whirlpools begin to form on the water surface, and then the fish itself appears in this place with a huge open mouth. So it lets out the old air, takes a new gulp, and then quickly closes its mouth and goes to the bottom. Arapaima gigas is a nimble and dangerous predator that feeds on small and medium-sized fish. It also attacks small mammals and birds that come down to the waterhole. Giant Otter you may think of most otters as cute creatures, but the giant otter is a different story. It's also called the giant river otter. These river predators live in the Amazon forest. Giant otters grow up to 2 meters in length and weigh more than 20 kilograms. These animals have a very bad temper. Giant otters hunt in packs, the number of individuals in which can reach 15 or even 20. Each group is led by an alpha female and an alpha male. For this reason, the giant otter is often called the river wolf. What's in the diet of these river monsters? First, all kinds of fish, including piranhas. By the way, each giant otter needs to eat up to 4 kilograms of fish daily. Secondly, the diet includes small birds, rodents, and snakes. In some cases, a large group of giant otters can cope with a lone caiman and even anaconda, the heaviest of all existing snakes on the planet. How are such cute-looking creatures able to do this? The secret of their success is simple – incredible fearlessness and teamwork. Even such formidable predators as jaguars have heard about giant otters' abilities and try not to mess with these creatures. Goliath Tigerfish African rivers are full of dangerous creatures. And this one's no exception. The giant tigerfish, or goliath tigerfish, 
is a large, toothy, predatory fish that grows to a meter and a half in length and weighs more than 50 kilograms. It got its name because of the horizontally arranged dark stripes on the back. The Goliath tigerfish is a very dangerous freshwater predator which combines the characteristics of all underwater monsters. Its reputation is similar to that of the bloodthirsty piranha. Its teeth are arranged like those of the piara, it can compete with the goonch catfish in terms of cunning, and it can compete with the piraruku in terms of power and strength. Thanks to its impressive teeth, this river monster can easily attack crocodiles and even kill a man. That's all, guys. What river creature impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.